My fitness pal. Okay, oh, I ate some food. I need to add that food in. Um, as you can see, today I had coffee, a package of oatmeal, and I threw in some chia seed, which it was really weird. I probably won't do that again. <laughs> and then, um, um, but chia seed is really good for you guys. And anyway, so I, um, I had soup and I had salad and, um, crackers. It says I had 12. Don't freak out. I really had 10. That's two portions. But some sometimes, this is what you have to watch out about, my fitness pal. Um, your food label in the that's on the box of food that you may eat is, is um, going to be accurate. It's going to say, okay, it has 60 calories, 70 calories, 100 calories, whatever it is. Um, this data base is not only made up of... Um, the experts or whoever makes my fitness pal um it's not only what they put in as calculations and what they get off of websites like from wendy's.com and um whatever you know those type of things but it's also member submitted like i can submit um that i want to eat this pillow and it's five calories you know whatever it is i'm just saying like so you have to sometimes just make sure that it's the right information. And that's real easy to do because there's lots of comparisons. Just if it says, um, I usually go for ones that say um, uh, five confirmations or two confirmations or 20 or something like that. If it says there's zero confirmations, that means only one member submitted it and nobody else has confirmed it. I hope you understand what that means. Um, you know, because uh, you want to get the right information. So this was trying to tell me that my crackers for five of them was 50 calories, which I know that's a lie because I have those memorized in the box, and I even had to get up and check, and the box says five calories. I mean, five crackers are 60 calories, right? So um, I could have re-looked in there for crackers that were truly the right one, or I just said I had 12. You get it? Okay. That's what I do. Am I manipulating the system? Yes, but no. As long as I'm accurately recording in anything I eat. Um, the reason I'm doing my fitness pal instead of Weight Watchers is because it um it's only one freaking number to worry about. Now, granted, it tells you on here, if you look on my screen, here's my pointer. And you got calories, and that's all I care about. But it's kind of an okay idea to um, figure out what else you're putting in. Don't just blindly, hey, I only had 100 calories. I don't know why I got fat. Oh, maybe because it had 2,000 grams of sodium or sugar or something, right? Okay. So, <laughs> oh, my God, I said right and okay like a million times. Oh, well, skip that. Anyway, so... Um, it really is just really smart to worry about one number. So we got calories, fiber, fat, protein, sodium, sugar. Truly and honestly, you can go up here and go into your settings. I think it's under settings. Um, and you can manipulate what you want this to show you. Maybe some people only want to know about um, carbohydrates. Or some people want to know what certain vitamin they're getting or, you know, so or iron or that type of thing. Um, I'm completely healthy on iron anyways, actually. So, because I just gave blood on Halloween and I am 14.9. They said that's excellent. So, I don't have to worry about my iron. Anyway, so, um, uh, as you can see, I... Okay, so I put in, I didn't really eat the dinner yet, but I put it in that I'm going to eat it because I pre-planned. If you pre-plan and you don't eat it, just go back in and um, minus it off. See how you can just take something off? Okay, um, and that's the minus, the, the subtraction um, selection. Um, now, as you can see, I am in the red on my sodium. And they give you 2,500 grams for the day. You can actually um, go in here and you can change any of these yourself as well in the settings. Let's say, okay, they only give me 14 grams of fiber for the entire day. But I want to eat 30. So I'll just go in and change it if that's what I want to do. But I'm pretty much trying to stick with what they recommend because they're the experts and not me. 
and I'm losing weight doing this, so obviously it's working. But if you you see, everybody's not the same. We are not. We didn't come out of cookie cutters, so um, it's nice that it modifies it for what you are. Like it goes by um, when you originally start. You, um, I'll show you really fast. Um, hmm, probably under settings, which makes sense. Okay, see, now this is where I'm talking about you with the nutrients tracked. And um, I have a key track of fiber. Calories are required that you, you're not going to, you have to track your calories. Sorry, but your body burns, um, um, your body to burn, to lose one pound. Your body needs to um, burn 3,500 calories in a week. Um, well, recommended it takes a week. And uh, by and that is beyond what your body needs to um, use for just daily activities like breathing and um, um, moving and talking and whatever you do. That's just your daily, you know, that's called a basic, that's your BMR, that's your basic metabolic rate. And, um, and if you are dieting, that's going to take away from that, you know, as, you know, because now you're reducing calories than what your body needs. And uh, so, you know, that's why you can't eat too few calories. You need, your body will actually, um, it has like a, a fail safe that if you eat under what you're supposed to, triggers will start happening. Uh, for one thing, your body's going to go into starvation mode. Uh, I'm not saying that you can't tweak it a little, <laughs> but um, you don't want to go in the starvation mode because your your liver will start producing more insulin because it thinks that it needs to protect the body from starving. So that needs and then insulin um, uh, is sort of like a um, it it it's also it breaks down food, but it also um, it also helps like. Uh, um, pad your your digest all your body systems and and it will um how do I explain this <laughs> it will uh produce fat cells essentially and that way it can re, um reduce like put a storage of fat in there because obviously there's some type of famine happening and we better put you know this the body be like um we better put some food up for later because we're starving and who knows if she's going to feed us again. And that's that's basically what kind of happens. And so um, you need to always be putting food in your body and then trying to burn the calories to put out, but also watch what you eat, basically. Hopefully I didn't excuse, confuse everybody because I probably did. Um, but uh, there's many things to learn about that. I'm not, not the expert. Go watch Hungry for a Change or Forks Over Knives or, um, or any of any nutritionist and just listen to the things that they tell you because that's truly how it works. And if anyone has any, um, any medical background whatsoever, if they've taken any basic anatomy and physiologies and stuff like that, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so just don't starve yourself. Now, my fitness pal is designed to... Uh, What's your problem? My Fitness Pal is designed to um, have you eat enough food and it, it provides for the activities and everything. So let's see, I have put in, that's my food and then I can call it different names and I have breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snackies. And, um, and then I have, let's see, um, reports my home goals. Okay, so go to my home and goals. And if you see, it has given me 1,200 calories a day. If I wanted to change the goals, let's just say I want to change goals. And how would you like to change your fitness goals? Do you want it to be guided or custom? Uh, they recommend guided, and I would go with guided because, you know. Um... And so they're going to guide me. And oh, 
My current weight is 202, so by the way, this week I have lost three pounds, and um, which is awesome. And I worked hard at it. No, I didn't. I'm a liar. I didn't work hard at it. I worked the plan that I have put in place, and I made it work. That's what I did. And if you make a plan and you just you do what you have to do and you know what you have to do every day and just take it one day at a time and you, um, no matter what, you count your calories and you, you try to be active every day, then it will come off and it's like not, it's really not like work. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I have in here that what my current weight is, which is 202. Actually, today I was 200.6 and then all day. I've been all day. But I'm not going to count that because it doesn't seem right. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so, but ooh, this is my weight from yesterday. I'm just going to go by yesterday because I already said I was. So, And yesterday I was 202. And um, so, and then I say what my goal weight is. I put in here 140, which is not true. I know my husband would probably wish it, but um, if I put in 134, then that makes me one minus 100 pounds exactly when I reach goal, and that's what I kind of want. And there's just I have this thing about numbers. I always have since I was little, so I want it to be an even number, okay? And then um, so we put in your height, and you put in your gender, and you put in your date of birth. And then how do you describe your normal daily activities? I put down lightly active. I could be lying because half the time I'm a little more active than lightly active. I'm active, but uh, but I, I'm kind of lazy a lot too. <laughs> so I'm both. So I'll just say lightly active. And see, this is going to be what's the biggest thing on um, uh, what's going to set your calories. And that's really important because you have to have the right amount of calories for your BMR, your basic metabolic rate. That has nothing to do with dieting. That's just um, keeping breathing and, and digesting. So um, just be honest as much as you can. Technically, I am lightly active. Um, sure, I started back at the same, but I only do it three days a week five hours a day, so I wouldn't call that I am a, wait a waitress, I am a part-time <laughs> waitress, so this is me, okay? Now, if it was my husband, for example, he works a very um, uh, physically active job, so, uh, and, and it's, you know, all day, and he's in the heat, and, um, and, technically he needs to eat way more in the day and so something like that then obviously you would click very active don't lie about a job like that but I don't think I'm lying okay so you just have to pick it what is right for you then how many times a week do you plan on exercising I said seven workouts a week for 45 minutes of workout um that's me you can put down three whatever it is and how do you want to track? Obviously, you want it in. I do not know what kilojoules is. Maybe that's in the UK. Um, but because this is for UK too. And then what is your goal? Now, did I change it? Oh, I changed my goal weight. I hope nothing changes for me. Okay, so it's telling me that I get 1,200 calories a day. And then it tells you. If you follow this plan, oh, and this tells me um, my target is 2,330 calories a week burnt. And then it also breaks it down in carbs, fat, protein. Um, then it says on here, net calories consumed equals total calories consumed minus exercise calories burned. So the more you exercise, the more you can eat. That's what I wanted to get to. It's the bottom line. You do not have to starve yourself. The more you exercise, the more you get to eat. And um, and they actually get on to you and send you like you're in the red line and send you messages like, hey, this you're, this isn't cool. Um, you need to eat more food. If, if you don't eat your exercise calories back, which I don't all the time, uh, and then I get hollered at by my fitness pal. So it recommends only healthy dieting. And, um, 
And then fitness goal, okay, so it says if you follow this plan, your projected weight loss is 1.9 pounds a week, and you should lose 9.5 pounds by December 10th. So it's made a plan for me. Basically, it goes about five weeks ahead of time. Okay. And I already know that. Now, obviously, sometimes you're going to gain, you're going to lose more, and you're going to lose less than that. But I was just hoping to you, it doesn't want you to lose any more than two pounds a week. That's how it goes. So, anyway, so that's my fitness pal. And the reason I use the my fitness pal is because, um, um, and I stopped using Weight Watchers, and I was looking in my book. So, um, and you know, you guys, it's not. Um, I guess I make the plan work. Yes, I do. I don't have a problem with the um, with losing weight. It's, that's not the problem. The problem is is um, more challenging to keep the weight off. Obviously, long term, I have great intentions at first, but so I keep a journal. And I know I've already talked about it before. And yes, I do that. That's great. But you, I keep this journal in my purse. I keep it by my, um, this is my spot on the couch, and um, I have my own side table, and I keep it right there, and I'm right into it constantly, and I write lots of stuff. See, I write goals, and I write what I eat, and I know I've shot it before, so, um, and you guys, if you want to find me on my fitness pal, the joy about it is you can look at my food diary and my exercise diary and my profile and you can go on it at any time. And I made it all public because I don't have anything to hide. And why have, um, say I'm going to add friends if I'm not going to make this stuff public. Then people can't encourage me or get um, um, uh, like inspiration off me or whatnot. Okay. So anyway, um, um, I'm just gonna, so I write everything, and I noticed that as of week eight, see, today is week 13, today's week 13, as of week eight, that's when I stopped really counting the points, and, um, and basically I was trying to do, do to do both, uh, Weight Watchers, I'm a really big supporter in Weight Watchers, but I'm sorry, my fitness pal wins because it's free. <laughs> and um, I don't go to the gym. And I don't have any plans to go to a gym. I am sort of wanting um, an elliptical for at home and my bright pink Nike shoes or whatever, some type of neon pink running shoes. I want those, okay? And uh, I just want some, like, um, accessories. And if I was paying to go to a gym all the time, then how would I buy those accessories? I'd rather save up that money and get, you know, what I can on sales. And I have the whole outside for my treadmill. And I have the pool. It's getting colder. I don't know what the temp is, but it was at 76 last week. And this week's a little chillier, so... But whatever, I have it, okay, and I bought myself some earplugs, and they work great. And um, um, if I have to, I'll pick up a wetsuit. I don't care. I'm not paying for $42 a week a month to go to the YMCA when I have a pool that's free out there. And anyways, and then so I get to get new exercise outfits, which this is my other one. I only shut off the leather one last week. Let's see. Can y'all see me? So this is this is another one, which I think I look cute in it. Just a little lumpy right here, but you know, whatever. And um, okay. So I know you're watching Pat, but you know. Anyway, I was just gonna brag about this. And um, so yesterday I was walking. Oh, and I noticed my butt is getting a little. And my husband tells me that all that stuff, and I believe him and everything. And um. But yesterday I was walking and this guy was all not even paying attention to me and he was on the phone and next thing I know, I would try to pretend I didn't see, but um, he, <laughs> guys are perverts. I don't care how nonchalant you try to be, okay? And he almost dropped his phone because he was like, he stopped talking in mid-sentence to his friend and he <laughs> was looking at my butt. 
Um, not that I'm just saying, I mean, I love my husband's attention only. I really do, not just because you're watching. Oh, by the way, guys, my husband's my biggest fan now. <laughs> um, it was just funny to me. And um, I didn't think about it at the time. I just laughed. And I'm just like, guys, ugh. you know. But I was looking in the mirror today when I put my exercise clothes on. I'm like, hey, my butt doesn't look all right. You know. Anyway, that was funny. Okay. So, um, anyway. Um, so, I don't even know what I was talking about. Oh, oh, yeah. Don't go to a gym so you can spend money on stuff that's for yourself. And then uh, just there's only one number to focus on when it comes to my fitness pal and if you want to compare honestly points and my fitness pal you're going to get the same amount of calories it's still designed around you um, it's just that it's more things to figure out with Weight Watchers and so from now on I I am only going to use my fitness pal and just focus on calories. Calories are everywhere. Points are not. Points, it takes a lot of manipulating and um, being creative to find everything the points are for. With calories, they're like everywhere. They're on labels. They're at, they're even on menu boards. They're, you know, so just calories. That's what I do. And um, I think that's about it. That's what, you know, I just eat right.